On Tuesday, in an utter surprise for onlookers, a four-seater private plane made an emergency landing on a highway in Madhya Pradesh. The aircraft, owned by NRI businessmen, landed near Milanpur at Betul Nagpur National Highway around 9.30 a.m. The sudden landing blocked traffic on the busy highway for more than half an hour. According to reports, the plane, supposed to land in the nearby tire factory, was forced by strong winds. Haryana government has offered to provide free travel facility for all girls students in the state. Free passes will be issued to all the girls studying in various schools, colleges, institutes in the state. State Transport Ministry will take care of the expenses. Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee President Ramesh Chenitala was sworn in as Minister of Home Affairs in Umanjandi government. He succeeds Tiruvanju Radhakrishnan, who will take care of forest and cinema portfolios. The induction of Chenital will bring a long, drawn-out battle in the state unit of Congress over his claim as a key position in the Uman Chandi cabinet. At a brief ceremony at the Raj Bhavan on Wednesday, Governor Nikhil Kumar administered the oath of the office in secrecy to Chenitala. The Congress High Command has intervened to accommodate Chenitala to bring about greater cohesion to the party. Chenitala was a minister around 27 years ago in the Karunagaran ministry. The Union government is planning to allow foreign direct investment in high-speed trains and other projects, including development of rail lines between project sites and existing network. The decision is likely to be taken this month itself. The Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion has proposed 100% FDI through automatic route and also proposed to delicense and de-reserve few areas of the sector. As per the proposal, foreign companies will be allowed to pick up 100% stake in the special purpose vehicle that will construct and maintain rail lines connecting ports, mines and industrial hubs with the existing rail network. Former Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadirappa will return to Bharatiya Janata Party. Yadirappa's newly created party, Karnataka Janata Paksha, will merge with BJP. Both parties jointly announced their union declaring that they would complete all the formalities within three or four days. The much-expected merger announcement by Yadirappa came after a delegation of Karnataka BJP leaders met and formally invited him back to the party fold. India's first octa-core processor smartphone, Intex Aqua Octa, will be launched soon. Intex created the new phone with a strategic alliance with MediaTek. Intex Aqua Octa will be exclusively available on Snapdeal with a price tag of 19,999 rupees. The 6-inch Android Jelly Bean phone is just 7 millimeters thick, probably the slimmest smartphone in the Indian market. The multiple cores can be allocated for different tasks and is also expected to improve battery life considerably. The phone comes with an elaborate memory backup with 16 gigabytes internal memory. Before we close, the highlights of the week once again. U.S. Ambassador Nancy Powell expressed regret for Indian diplomat Devyani Kobragade's arrest. The Arvind Kejriwal-led government on Thursday won the trust vote in the Delhi Assembly. India's Defence Minister and former Kerala Chief Minister A.K. Anthony says Kerala Assembly is no longer a model for the country. Veteran fighter pilot Arub Raha takes over the 24th Chief of the Indian Air Force, succeeding Air Chief Marshal N.A.K. Brown. South Indian actress Meeta Jasmine is to tie the knot on February 12th with Dubai-based software engineer. A four-seater private plane made an emergency landing on highway in Madhya Pradesh. Haryana government offers free travel facility for all girls students in the state. Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee President Ramesh Chindila sworn in as Minister of Home Affairs in Uman Jandi government.
Now that's all for this week. I'm Reshwa Kutubishiri signing off. Wish you a wonderful days ahead and see you this time next week.